Seventh-day Adventists across the 11 countries that make up the East Central Africa Division are passionate about soul winning and evangelism in the big cities. Under the umbrella of the World Church's total member involvement campaign, the membership within ECD is growing at an unprecedented rate as Adventists across our division get involved in sharing the hope. The secret to this dynamic growth is the mobilization of every single member to get actively involved in the life and mission of the church through evangelism, community outreach, and personal ministries. Our cities in ECD have a different dynamic than most Western cities. Many of our large cities also have areas with slums or suburbs where there are literally thousands of people living in conditions that are way below the poverty line. So when we talk about mission to the cities, we have to really be intentional about seeking the lost and serving the least. Now, what I love about ECD is that we have captured what it means to get our members involved in both public and personal evangelism. So we hold simultaneous evangelistic meetings in thousands of inner city churches at the same time. Every church is a site. And we do have some top speakers sharing, yes. But we also have elders, deacons, children, women, and young people preaching and teaching. And that collective team effort with everyone getting involved, that is what makes the difference for us. The massive baptisms of over 110,000 in Rwanda in the year 2016, 25,000 in 2017, 82,000 in Kenya in March 2017, 134,000 in Uganda and Tanzania in June and July 2017 are a result of our ECD TMI campaigns. In addition, Ethiopia and South Sudan were scheduled to do their TMI campaigns in 2018 and 2019. But they were so excited that they could not wait. And so they decided to conduct preliminary TMI campaigns. As a result, they had 2,500 baptisms in South Sudan and 5,000 in Ethiopia. Pastor Skin's TMI campaigns in the city of Arusha, Tanzania, led to the baptism of about 913 souls. All these are a direct result of our commitment to evangelize the cities and the surrounding regions with the good news of the Adventist message. A total of 250,000 baptisms from January to August of 2017 in ECD has been realized and let me tell you, I am so thankful to the Lord for it. We believe that having the Word of God preached is one of the best ways we can impact and transform the lives of people living in the cities. So come with me as we take a look at what ECD has been doing to help reach the world through the General Conference's incredible in initiative called Mission to the Cities. The East Central Africa Division is using a plethora of innovative and creative strategies to reach the cities for Christ. In Kigali, Rwanda, over 10,000 Adventists marched downtown Kigali on the day before the launch of a nationwide TMI evangelistic campaign as a way of drawing and inviting people to the activities of mission and the TMI evangelistic outreach events. Women at the East Central Africa Division headquarters recently got involved in marketplace evangelism in Nairobi, Kenya. But that's not all. Even children are getting involved in mission to the cities. Today we are here to help and support the children from the Kangede Boys Rehabilitation Center. Mainly what I can say is that we are here to show them that there are people outside there who care for them and that they should not feel discriminated, and that we are one family, and we would like to be together one day in heaven. In Burundi, there was a famine near the large city of Bujumbura, and here's how the church got involved. 
this food will help 260 uh, families. So we want to train our young so they may be ready every day to help people. There's a saying that if you give a man a fish, you feed him for one day. But if you teach him how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. That's what the members in ECD are doing through their goat donation ministry. The goats are meant to help the beneficiaries uh, to improve their livelihood and probably start a kind of small businesses out of this. The ECD medical camp has been a huge success in hundreds of cities across the division. Ministering to our brothers and sisters with special needs is a high priority for ECD. ECD has several centers of influence that are reaching and creatively impacting the lives of people in our urban centers. We have non-Adventists who come and get books here for their Sunday schools and also for their own spiritual edification. This facility was put here for purposes of mission. The facility provides many services. The major and the most famous is the vegetarian meals that are provided in our two restaurants, which has capacity of 200 guests. When we receive guests who are not Adventists, the first question that they usually ask is, why vegetarian meals? And when they ask this, we usually get an opportunity to talk to them on uh, the principles of healthy living. So this serves as a platform for us to share with them the love of Christ as advanced by the Bible. My name is Dr. Nguyenyi Christine from Better Living Hospital Dental Clinic. I've been working here for the last 19 years. And generally we see dental patients. Other than that, we like impacting on them with the love of Christ. And that's where we are here, located in the central part of Nairobi. We have a wellness program. And in the wellness program, we have a better living center, which has been known for this hospital for several years. And in this center, we reach out to some people who are called the unreached people group. And these are people who smoke, the chain smokers. They come and they meet by themselves as an expert every Sabbath afternoon and they talk out their issues. We have evidences of several of them who have now stopped smoking and even some have been baptized. By the grace of God, we will continue to find innovative ways to reach the cities in ECD with the good news of Jesus so that we can have a rich harvest for him. With our theme of mission priority, it is harvest time. We will not stop until everyone in every city has an opportunity to hear the good news of Jesus. Mm -hmm.